Welcome to Bad Food Blog. And look what I've got today. Oh my god. Snacksters Doner Kebab with XL with 50% more meat. This looks hilarious. It is. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Cooking instructions. Cooking appliances may vary in performance. Yeah, we know that. Put sauce in a cup of warm water to defrost. Lay the kebab meat flat side by side on a microwavable plate and microwave for one minute. Fold back together, microwave for a further 1 minute 20 seconds, remove from the microwave, leave the product to stand for 1 minute, then add the sauce and any garnish. Okay, this is going to be reasonably quick to cook then. So, let's open her up and see what she looks like inside, shall we? 50% more meat. Nutritional information, ingredients, wow, there's a lot of ingredients. Allergen information, sesame, soya, yeah, I'm not allergic to anything like that. Not actually allergic to anything, to be fair. Ooh, my god. Ah, okay, so. I guess that goes in the microwave as it is like that. Okay, there's one more slice basically. There are three slices instead of two with the old one. I'm guessing it's 50% more. Let's pop it in the microwave. Now it's gonna be in the microwave for one minute. So whilst it's in the microwave, we'll have a look at if there's anything else more interesting on the on the box. Um, this is already defrosted in my hand, so I'm not going to bother putting it in warm water. It's uh, not frozen anymore. Uh, I don't eat the mayonnaise anyway, so that's fine. It's probably not mayonnaise, it's probably some sort of white sauce. Cooking instructions, that's pretty rudimentary. It's not very heavy. What are the calories for this? Here we are. Calorie information, 241 as per consumed, 414. That's quite a sizable lunch. Well, it's cooking. I can't smell anything yet, but it's done a kebab, so it will smell weird in a few seconds. 18 seconds to go. And we're done. So now, no point going back to the table for this. Apparently I just combine these two, like that, and then place it back for one minute, 20 seconds. That seems simple enough. Let's get ready for the next stage when it's done. So just 20 seconds remaining. Let's see what this looks like. I can't see anything through the window anymore. All I can see is it's barely turning. The whole thing is steamed up. So we have to leave it to stand for a minute, which is going to be interesting. And then we have to go through the terrible, terrible task of eating it. I mean, how bad could it be? Ooh, yeah, that smells of Donna Kebab. Ooh, large smell of Donna Kebab. Bubbling, and we've got some colour change here on the edge, like it's been cooked. Hmm, interesting. Groovy. Let's get it over to the table and apply the sauce. Okay, it's been standing for 30 seconds now. So I'm going to go ahead and put the sauce in. I think I'm supposed to leave it to stand for a minute before putting the sauce in. I'm supposed to flip it over after I take it out of the microwave. Ah, oh, that's why because it's extremely wet on that side now. Don't know why we're microwaving the bread in the first place. Now I have to add the sauce to it, which to be frank is not something I'm looking forward to because this generally tends to be spicy chili sauce. It's 
just such a greasy mess. I'm not going to be able to eat this with my hands. I'm going to quit now and get a knife and fork before this gets too much. Right. So now, according to the cooking instructions, garnish and enjoy. It's, it's st it stood for about a minute now. Yeah, that bread somehow has dried out. Probably because it was super heated and the steam needed to escape. After this, I'm going to do some nice food. I'm going to cook something um, Japanese. What's the name of it? Goya? Gyoza. I'm going to cook some Itsu Gyoza after this. So that video will be a follow on from this one because you can only do so much bad food. Right, let's give this a... Uh, Let's give this a try, shall we? First of all, let's bring it up here for a, uh, let's do a thumbnail shot. Let's fold that back so everybody can see uh, what it actually looks like compared to the image. There we go, that'll make a good thumbnail. Also, I'm still allowing it to cool down a tiny bit. My thumbnails, of course, also get posted to Instagram, where you can see in glory a preview of the horrible things I've eaten. Wow. The bread is so chewy, it's like chewing gum. It's just like uncooked bread. It's so bad. Next time I'm putting that in the toaster if I buy one of these again. Oh my god. The sauce is tomato ketchup. Huh? I don't know. There is some chili there. Trust me, kitty. You don't want any of this action. I'm not picking this up by hand. It's falling to pieces when I'm trying to cut through it with a knife and fork. It would just fall to pieces in my hand as I was trying to bite into it. And all of this extremely hot meat another stuff would fall all over me. Trust me, kit, kitty cat, you don't want any of this. It might smell nice, but it doesn't taste as nice as it smells. It doesn't taste that bad, actually. It kind of tastes like Donna Kebab, but, I mean, I can't cut the bread. I'm gonna have to go get a sharp steak knife. I've had to get a steak knife to even attempt to cut this. Oh, here we go. Let's show you some of the meat. Can you see that? It's just, I can't even feel the meat. It's just instantly dissolved in your mouth, which it tastes like a doner kebab, but somehow the sauce is tomato flavored but spicy it doesn't taste like chili somehow hmm sort of trying to eat it all together because I don't want to eat the meat on its own it's extremely strong lamb flavor as you'd expect from doner kebab but you couldn't eat this with your hands I mean, you've seen the trouble I'm having with knife and fork. If you try to bite into this, you're going to have sauce all down you. Everything's going to be going everywhere. It's just going to burn you everything. Even if you, I mean, it's been out the microwave now for a good three minutes and it's still very hot to the mouth. Mmm. I'm looking forward to the Goza video after. Mmm. Well, I had to try it because I saw it in the supermarket today and it's new and 50% uh, more meat. There we go. The snacks is Donna Kebab XL.
Don't know what you expect from that. What else do we expect? Let me try and take a picture of that. Hmm. <laughs> mm. And that's my review of the food. That tasted awful. Never buy it. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video. And uh, if you have any suggestions for food, and if you have anything else you want to tell me, comments down below, please. Thanks for watching. Please think of subscribing and. Bye.